Today I'll give you a little uh, taste of rural Colombia. I'm taking my oh my dog because you know I have a, a husky mix, husky Malibu mix, and um, he's been running away a lot. So I know, I know. If you guys know anything about huskies, you're probably like, yeah, yeah, shocker. So I'm trying to walk him like a lot. He does run free. I mean, I have to watch him, but I let I let him roam when I'm with him. As soon as I turn my back, though, he kind of sometimes runs away. So I'm starting to give him like long, very long walks during the day, and it's kind of hot for him. But the heat doesn't really bother him because he's got that. They have that second layer that keeps them cool. Anyway, so I thought I'd show you around where we're walking, my little neighborhood. As you can tell, their dogs here run free. So like me letting him be free is a completely normal thing. If he didn't run away, it would be fine. But but I'll show you some of these beautiful houses in the landscape. And there's a couple houses for sale I'll show you also. So if you can see these trees right here, this is actually what we're going to be getting to put in front of our house because it's good coverage because you know, you don't want everyone looking in on your, at your house. I've been cutting down trees and then they're making it pretty and I like to look at all the flowers but you can see all the dogs. <laughs> Those ones are inside a fence and tied up so they don't look so friendly. But yeah, so one thing about being here in rural Colombia is so I like to walk and look at all the flowers everyone has because then I can see what grows good, what will grow well, and will look good in front of my house because, you know, it's like a forever, never-ending project. But oh, some of these two houses, their houses are so cute and oh, it's so beautiful. So if we continue walking this way, we get to the waterfall. I don't know if we're going to go that far, but I want to take him like on at least one to two hour walks every day so he can burn off this energy he has and yeah so this house coming up is actually for sale it is 480 or 420 million pesos which is approximately uh, I don't know I'll put it in the description it's over like 110,000 and I think it's like as big as mine it's like three acre two acre or an acre and a half or two acres um, it's beautiful. There are like two houses on it. I'm not going to go see it though. It's a beautiful piece of land and it has have a gate and a little driveway and their land is not as hilly as mine but also it is like way 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 more expensive than mine. So yeah you can see a little bit here. Okay it was for sale. Someone told me it was for sale and they had a for sale property sign up but now I don't see the sign. Anyways I don't think it sold because that's really expensive for here. Come on, venga. This is a, a eucalyptus tree right there. And these are the little, the guadua, the little guadua trees. They look like bamboo, but they're guadua. I hear a river down there. You know, in Colombia, there's always rivers because it's so lush and green. Anyways, yeah. I don't know, this house might be for sale, might not be for sale. Someone just told us it like the other day. But yeah, that, but 
I say that's expensive for here. That's expensive for Colombia, but the area that I live in, I've kind of, I've kind of mentioned it a few times. This area is a wealthier area. So the, the prices reflect that. I mean, they're not gonna sell. I think my house was probably, it, I think I've been looking for a long time and it was probably one of the most affordable houses that I have seen in this area. And that's one of the reasons I bought it because you know, you always wanna buy like, buy like the cheapest house in the most expensive area, which is basically what I did. Except for I did go see a house that was a little bit more, I think a little bit cheaper, but it was also had no access. It was further from the town. So it had like a lot of factors of why it should not have been that expensive. And it still was because this area is known for safety. And a lot of people ask me about, oh, this is a guava tree. see the fruits here yeah so this area is known for being a safe area because when you buy a house here in Colombia it's really important to know the history of the area for example when I was living in San Carlos it was a lot more affordable for houses there and the land also the land had a lot of you know they had the whole La Violencia in like 20, 2010 and they just started going back to the that area in 20 I think it was 2012 2013 or something I can't remember off the top of my head so that area is notoriously known for having a lot of crime and they had like military bases all over so you just felt even that I live with Colombians and they feel safe here like and they're from here they're born and raised in Medellin And they, you know, they tell me that this is a good area. So it's really important to talk to locals, get to know the locals when you buy somewhere because if, yeah, you can find a really affordable land places, but when you leave your land, can you leave it by yourself? Or do you trust your neighbors to keep an eye on your house? Do you, you know, is if can you take a week vacation and have someone watch your house, even if you pay them, are they gonna go and steal everything from your house or their your wood or you know it that's the thing here is you have to check and it's like this i mean i think it's like this everywhere when you live somewhere rural you have to be careful where you buy like because you have to trust your neighbors and it's like i guess a lot of latin american countries i think in the u.s it's really important too because if you people trespass there all the time if you don't have trespassing i know we have but there of course people Everyone will make the argument, but I can carry, I can protect my land with a gun. Yeah, but that, I mean, I personally don't really want to do that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna carry a gun around. I'm not gonna, I just, that's not my thing. I think, yeah, I think I believe in the right to bear arms, if, yes. But does that mean I want to? No, I absolutely do not. Here, I, I don't feel, I feel no endangerment of my safety. The worst thing, I think someone stole a bucket off my land the other day. I'm convinced. I'm convinced someone took a bucket. But yeah, so that's like when you buy property in these rural areas and I'm not even, I think I, it's a small town. I live in a small town. You know, you have to be careful and you have to know your neighbors and you have to trust them. And like I said, talking to locals is the best way to know. And I've met people who lived here their whole lives and they're like in their 80s and they've lived here their whole life and that is really rare in Colombia because of the you know the violence and the history and the wars so when you find these like little little like old ladies that I live next to they've been there here their whole life because they never were displaced they never had the violence issue here they never had to leave their land their home so they've been here their whole lives in San Carlos that was not the the case because the military and the paramilitary and the guerrillas came through and they said you have to leave if not we will kill your family so it's a little bit of a different energy here the energy is much nicer and it's so beautiful okay the nature in San Carlos is amazing don't get me wrong but here oh it's amazing too look at these views
I need to do this with my beans. Oh my goodness, they're so tall. I think I'm gonna do that today. Look at those, they're all beans. Whoa. But how do I pick them if I get them that tall? Oh, I think this is uh, one of my neighbors who always walks by. He lives here, I think. I don't know. Oh, they see they have coffee. We all have coffee drying right now. It's coffee season. It's crazy how much coffee there is. He is very happy to be walking. Oh, how beautiful this is. See, I love all these like flowers. This is what I want to do at the front of my house. I want to get a big old flower bush, maybe some roses. These are beautiful. Oh, like these roses. Oh, they're so beautiful. Look at these. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, okay, we're going this way. I know. Look at this cute little house. Oh. Come on. Uh-oh. No, no. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Estás bien, perrito? Oh, I know. <laughs> These aren't, they're not street dogs, they all have homes. They're just, they just run free. And one thing about dogs here in Colombia, the vet actually came to our house and like the vet drives up and down the rural areas and vaccinates the dogs for rabies and it was free. So, you know, they're all vaccinated. You're a very happy puppy, huh? You're a very happy puppy. Coffee, 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 lots of coffee. Everyone has coffee. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day, huh, buddy? And she's still coming at us. I think you said her name was Lulo. I know. Everybody barks at him. He doesn't do anything. He just ignores it, but he's so big. <sighs> Come on, bring him. Ah, so they're fixing the road down here, actually. There's a big hole in the road. So that's why this big bulldozer is coming. You can see the little house on the mountain over there. I love like the houses that are set really far back. <laughs> well, I love them until you realize that you have to walk to them. And it's like, sometimes it's like a 45 minute walk and you can't get a motorcycle up there. But I love them. <laughs> if uh, there's a road, I would love to live in one of them, but you can see a ton of them here. Yeah. Well, look, more coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Ah, but they have a proper, look at this cute, beautiful house. Oh my God, I love these houses here. I need to get some of those hanging plants. Oh, okay. Come on. In her garden, oh, it's so beautiful. That I would love my house, my front of my garden, to have all these beautiful, like wild flowers. Well, they're not really wild, but oh, there's just it's so beautiful for the bees to come. Yeah, so that's like what I'm trying to create. But I have to understand, I have to like take a step back and realize I just moved in and I've only been here like I think three months now, and you know, doing 
doing a lot of work, but now I'm focusing on, I know kind of what I want and that's so beautiful. Oh my God, look at this house way up here. See that, it's beautiful. But look how, it's right on the top of that hill. And you can see it's so steep. Oh, they got some cows. Oh, this little cute house too. Look at their yard. Oh my God, I love their yard. Come on, venga. Hola, como estas? <laughs> okay, so I walked these dogs so much. Well, I just have the one today because the other one can't go so far. And I know like all the motor taxi drivers because the same guys drive by. So I know that guy, he always, <laughs> they all like, I mean, they can, uh, I'm the only, I think I'm the only foreigner on this road really. So they all kind of know me and I'm always walking this big fluff ball. But look how beautiful. Ah, you can hear the river. I think that's the waterfall. And you can see like their everyone's house is kind of on a hill and like mine like when I bought my house I was like oh it's on a hill but the after coffee season coffee season will be over in December I'm actually gonna cut a lot of the trees because there's a lot of bad ones and then I can get a better layout because my land does have a lot of flat space you just can't tell because it's so overgrown with weeds and the coffee trees are everywhere which is fine it's like you know it's a lot but Anyways, so you can see like these houses have like really steep and then at the bottom there's a flat part like mine. There's steep, flat, steep, flat. So it's like, yeah, you just have to learn to work with it. And they, all these people have learned to work with it. So I just have to, that's why I like to come and walk and see what they've done with their, their space. Come on. Look at this red clay. Come on, buddy. You want to go back? Does it do much for you? Venga. And then the road kind of cuts off and they're, they're fixing up the road down here because it's been completely destroyed. This is the old road to Medellin. So they don't use it anymore. And it's just like us locals who live out here. And you'll see down here, there's a space. Look at this house. Completely abandoned. Oh my god, I'd love to live here. Look at this. It's beautiful. It needs a lot of work. Look at this, it's so beautiful. Come on. You want to get some water, buddy? Okay. Yeah? Okay, my battery's about to die. So thank you so much. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.